everyone, this is Chloe with Brooklyn Boatworks and I am here to take our exploration of the Brooklyn Bridge one step further. We are going to build a model of the Brooklyn Bridge using relatively little material. Use whatever stuff you find around your house that your family says it's okay for you to use. Remember to ask permission before you just take whatever and make sure that you are staying safe at all times. Ready? Let's get started. First, I have these simple kitchen containers. Um, I just have a couple of those, and those are gonna represent my caissons. So, I'm gonna put them here. Next, I have a bunch of cans. Um, this is just cans of soup and beans and stuff, and I'm going to stack them on top. Now, the next step, is the bridge deck. And for this, I just used a very simple piece of cardboard that I dug out of the recycling bin. So you can see that if this bridge were it, it looks pretty sturdy, but the weight of all of those cars and people, yeah, it's not so bad. Nuh-uh, not gonna happen. So that's why we make a suspension bridge, which means that there's suspension coming from above those big cables that's going to hold up the bridge, right? So this is done. Next, I pre-cut two different cable pieces and I'm just going to lay them over the top like so. So this is the twine that I used. You can use whatever works. The size doesn't really matter so much. So now the real bridge has four cables. I'm just gonna use two, and I am going to use masking tape that I have pre-cut to tape them onto the tops of the towers just to make them secure. Okay, so next up, the cables are anchored to these two very big, heavy weights called anchor plates. So now, I don't have a real giant piece of metal to use as an anchor plate, so I'm going to use these two cans. And up next, I need to do those nice little suspenders. So, for that, I used this smaller size of twine, and I actually pre-cut that as well, just for fun. They don't have to be perfectly perfect, and I am going to just go like this and tie it around. It can be kind of difficult to tie stuff like this. So if it is, don't stress. You can get an adult to help you. Perfect. So I have my cables going like this. I have my larger cables spanning the top and then coming down to two anchors on either shore. I have my caissons, which are sunk back down to the muddy river bed, and actually even below that, almost all the way down to the bedrock. So these are my caissons, these are my towers, this is my deck, and this is the roadway coming across the deck. There's only one thing that I'm missing. Now, this doesn't have to be like 100% precise, but I think one of the coolest things about the Brooklyn Bridge is that when it was built, there weren't very many suspension bridges and people were really doubtful about whether or not a suspension bridge would be able to support all of the weight that it needed to. People were really fearful about crossing it. And so John Roebling, the guy who designed this thing, he actually said, well, you know what? If you guys are gonna doubt me, I'm just gonna flex and make this whole extra thing so that even if the suspension cables fail, there will still be a way that this bridge can get held up. So he made this bridge into a hybrid between a suspension bridge, which is exactly what we see here, and something called a cable stayed bridge. So these cables go over the top and then go vertically to connect the suspension cables on top to the roadway. But a cable stayed bridge has diagonal cables called stays, and they go from the tower to the deck. So I'm just gonna add a couple of small pieces of twine to kind of represent that so that you can see what it looks like. 
Um, I really love the way that the Brooklyn Bridge has this cool kind of interplay between these vertical cables and these diagonal ones. So I just wanted to represent it a little bit in my model, even if my model isn't 100% perfect. So I have all the parts now complete from the caissons all the way up to the cables. So please make sure that just like in the classroom, you clean up after yourself and leave no trace in your work space. Enjoy making this project by yourself. Let us know what you thought, keep working, and thank you again for watching this video. We'll see you soon.